Welcome to Professor Grace's graphic class. Before you start this lesson, download the linked reference file and please watch the ad until the end so you can receive better content. Hello everyone, today is the first day for an Illustrator lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to work with workspace in Illustrator. Illustrator basically has a dark workspace. If we want to lighten the dark workspace, select the Edit Preferences User Interface menu. In the Preferences dialog box, drag the slider above dark to the right side to see the color change, then click OK. In this way, you can change the color of the workspace to your favorite color. Let's take a look at the name of the workspace. This area on the upper left is called a menu. When you click and move your mouse on these menus, you can see the submenus under each menu. And as you can see, some submenus have another submenu. The menus checked in the window menu are displayed in the panel group on the right side of the workspace. The name of the long horizontal panel under the menu is the control panel. The options in the control panel change depending on which tool you select. The next thing to look at is the tools panel. The Tools panel is a collection of tools in one place. You can display the Tools panel in one column by clicking on the double arrow in the Panel tab. And you can display the Tools panel in two columns by clicking on the double arrow in the Panel tab again. In my experience, it is recommended that you work with two columns of the Tools panel since it is convenient to look at and find the tool when you are working with the Tools panel displayed as two columns. If you don't want to the Tools panel to stay fixed in the workspace, drag the Panel tab to the right to move freely in the workspace. If you want to move a separated movable tools panel back to its original position, click on the tab in the tools panel and move to the left edge of the work screen. If the border is highlighted in blue vertical bar, release the mouse to dock in the workspace. The tools in the tools panel are divided into seven sections according to their functions. The first section contains the tools for selection. The second section contains the tools for drawing and writing. The third section contains the tools for transformation. The fourth section contains the tools for the color work. The fifth section contains the tools for the symbol and graph. And the sixth section contains the tools for the artboard editing, moving, zooming, and more. Most of Illustrator's work is done by applying fill and stroke colors. This last section you see now contains the fill and the stroke color. This seventh section contains the tools for drawing and changing screen mode. In addition to the tools you see in the Tools panel, there are hidden tools. The tools in the Tools panel are divided into tools that are either alone or in combination with several related tools. So how do we distinguish this? Tools with a small triangle icon in the lower right corner of the tool indicate that there are 
another hidden tools associated with it. If you don't see a small triangle icon in the bottom right corner of the tool, there is no hidden tools and the tool exists alone. Now, let's try selecting the hidden tools. Select the rectangle tool and hold the mouse to see the rest of the hidden tools. Simply select the desired tool and you will see what is displayed in the tools panel. If we need to continue to use the shape tools, you just so click and hold the tool to display the hidden pop-up tools and touch the bar called tear off to separate it from the tools panel. It is convenient to use these frequently used tools separately from the tools panel. Now, if we want to close the detached panel after using the tools, you can click the X button. This time, I will use the shortcut key to load the hidden tool in the tools panel. Press and hold the Alt key then continue to click on the tool to select the next hidden tools in order. When you open the document, the document tab displays the document's name, view size, and color mode. As you can see now. And the left and the right empty gray space of the document is called the pasteboard which is a non-printing area, and it is a space where you can place objects required for work. The area of the document that can be printed is called the artboard. Now, to the right of the workspace, there is a panel group of several panels. You can change the panel group differently depending on what kind of work you want to do in Illustrator. Click the drop down button at the top right of the workspace to see a list of several workspaces. This workspace allows you to choose your preferred workspace depending on whether your work is for editing, illustration, printing, typography, web design, and so on. Essentials is a workspace that is composed of useful panels that are most often used frequently in Illustrator. This time, I will show you how to create your own workspace that consists of panels that you may use mostly. First, select Window, Type, Character, Menu, or press Ctrl T on the keyboard. Click the tab of the Character Panel group and drag it between the swatches and the stroke panels. Then double click the Character Panel tab to collapse the panel. Click the Color Guide Panel tab and drag it to the Paste the board, then press the X button to close the panel. Click the tabs in the Layers panel and the Artboard panel groups. Drag them between the Stroke and the Appearance panels, and then when the blue highlight bar appears in space, move the mouse to change the position of the panel. Double click the Appearance Panel tab to collapse the panel. Continue double click the tab in the Stroke Panel to expand the panel shows the entire option. Continue double click the tabs in the Color Panel until you see the full options, move the mouse to the boundary between the swatches and the character panels. And when a double-headed arrow appears, 
drag the mouse up or down to adjust the space. Now, let's create your own workspace. Click the Workspace drop-down menu button and select the New Workspace menu. In the New Workspace dialog box, type name for MyWS. And now we can see MyWS Workspace in the Workspace name list. This time, let's look at how to reset the panel group of the workspace. Drag the tabs in the color panel to the pasteboard and press X to close them. You can also click and drag the stroke panel group tab, then press X to close it. To reset this, change it My WS Workspace. Click on the Workspace drop-down menu button and select Reset My WS to return to the original workspace settings. What if we uh, want to remove the newly created workspace from the menu list? Click the Workspace drop-down menu button and select the Manage Workspace menu. In the Manage Workspace dialog box, select my WS and click the Delete Workspace icon. Click Yes in the Adobe Illustrator dialog box and click OK in the Manage Workspaces dialog box. Now, Click on the Workspace drop-down menu and you will see My WS Workspace disappears from the list. This time, let's look at Zoom In or Zoom Out for the document view. First, select the Zoom tool at the bottom of the Tools panel. When you move your mouse over the document, you will see a plus icon in the middle of the magnifying glass. You can click and click the document to enlarge the document view. Conversely, if you press Alt on the keyboard, you will see plus icon changes to minus icon. You can zoom out the document by holding down Alt and clicking on the document. With the Zoom tool selected, click and drag the area you just want to enlarge. And you can enlarge a specific area as you see it now. To view the document I just explained, you can also use the menus or the shortcuts on the keyboard. You can enlarge in the document view by selecting the view zoom in menu or pressing Ctrl plus. Conversely, this time you can shrink the document view by selecting view zoom out menu or pressing by pressing Ctrl minus on the keyboard. Select the View Fit Artboard Window menu or press Ctrl-0 to view the entire artboard without hiding the document based on the size of your monitor screen. Select the View Actual Size menu or press Ctrl-1 to display the artboard at its actual size of 100%. In the shortcut key, Ctrl-1, 1, 1 stands for 100%, so it is easy to memorize. And next, select the View, Fit All-in-Window menu 
or press Alt Ctrl 0 on the keyboard to show all the pages in one document without hiding. So far, we will study about workspace and zoom in and out for the document view. Today's lecture is one of the most basic things in Illustrator, and I hope that you didn't have much trouble understanding it. The first reference file you downloaded for this lesson contains keyboard shortcuts. Using shortcut keys is very efficient because it reduces work time and the speed up your work. For this reason, I plan to teach you many shortcuts in future lectures. Therefore, please memorize the name of the shortcut as possible. I would like to teach you all the basics and advanced courses of Illustrator based on the experience of teaching students majoring in graphic design in the university classrooms as a professor and the great knowledge of graphic software in all future courses. Also, I will provide a link to download the reference files so you can follow my lectures easily in most of the courses. However, the link to tutorial reference files can only be opened in Illustrator CS6 version or higher, such as Illustrator CC. Thank you for watching Professor Grace's Illustrator lecture. Please watch the next video in order to follow all the courses without skipping a lesson. To keep learning and master Illustrator, please press the subscribe and the like buttons.